Advancing technology is rapidly speeding up the way we accumulate knowledge and the expectation of what we can fit into a day, a week, or a year. While we will always seek to enhance a process and science will continue to evolve, the flip side is that the added pressures to modern life have led to a surge in anxiety. What if I were to tell you that we don't need to look to advancing technology as a solution? Today, I want to provide you with an alternative solution, one that does not look forward to modern medicine, but looks back to the ancient philosophers whose unanimous solution was music. Using music as medicine can be directly traced to the ancient Greeks. The ancient Greeks used music to heal the mind and the soul. One of the first philosophers to have been accredited to use this type is Euthgasket, our favorite philosopher Pythagoras, a popular favorite. <laughs> Pythagoras noted that specific harmonies and even certain verses when recited from the Iliad had a profound effect on his patients. In his school, the day opened and ended with music and singing, his principle being that music could purify a person's mind. He also used specific instruments, namely the flute and the lyre. Damon was a music theorist in the 5th century BC. He considered why music is so powerful. In his words, he believed that music could imitate the soul. Damon believed that there were two sides to music. One, it could suppress human desires, but it could also have an impact on the animal part of our soul and act as a therapeutic influence, which he owed to Dionysus. Dionysus then, our favorite god, Greek god of wine, ecstasy, fertility, theater, and festivity, gave music its cathartic, therapeutic power and mania. Now, mania can result to what the ancient Greeks named catharsis, which is a sickness of the soul. And this is something that in today we would call anxiety, our stresses, and our low mood disorders. And this is something that we have all experienced and will continue to experience. The anxiety when receiving a test you know that has not gone to plan, the stress of completing all your work that has to be handed in on time, or quite simply, those days where you feel completely lost. But the ancient Greeks had a solution. As they believed mania is caused by disharmonious movements of their soul, they realized that these movements could be corrected using rhythm and harmony. Orphus also believed that music, in combination with a self-disciplined lifestyle, aids the therapeutic catharsis of the soul. And this is something that we need to apply to our own self-disciplined lives. We live extremely difficult lives. Each day, we are presented with new challenges that we need to overcome. Living in the present is often emphasized as the key to happiness. But the constant pressures that we face make it extremely difficult to remain fully in the present. Our lives are structures that then follow specific patterns. And when we deviate from these patterns, anxiety arises. Every now and then, we need to purify our minds from the chaos that we breathe. And purification was an integral part of the process of rigging for the ancient Greeks themselves from mania. There are two types of choral songs used in the process of rigging themselves from mania. These were pines and epodes. Pines are already exemplified in, um, in the Iliad and in Homer's epics. For instance, take the book one of the Iliad. I know, it lasts a long time, but it was the performance of the songs and pines that saved the ancient Greeks from the plague of Apollo. Hence, music has the powerful energy of a god. And as we go back to Pythagoras, 
there is geometry in the humming of the strings, and there is music in the spacing of the spheres. But what are the proven benefits to using music therapy? Well, using music as medicine can date back to the 19th century, when Diagol in Salpetria Hospital in Paris noted the effects music has on his patients. These effects included aspects such as cardiac output, respiratory rate, pulse rate, and blood pressure. Experts really do believe that music can be used to treat low mood disorders and anxiety. This is in line with several studies that show that music has an effect on the activity on the brain, structures such as the amygdala and the mesolimbic reward system. There is also photographic evidence. This is a picture of a person listening to music during an MRI scan. And as you can see, all the areas that are affected by the music are lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> In our world, seeking quick fixes and pharmaceutical solutions, we often forget the time-tested wisdom of our ancestors. The ancient philosophers understood the power of music to heal the mind and the soul and to restore the harmony within. Ancient philosophy with music therapy provides an alternative solution for those grappling with anxiety. So, let us explore this transformative journey. Let us immerse ourselves in those rhythms and melodies that can resonate with our innermost beings. Let us rediscover the therapeutic power of music. As we embrace this ancient approach to healing, may we unlock the harmony within ourselves, and in doing so, find a path towards a life free from the shackles of anxiety. Thank you. <laughs>